All right, guys, welcome back to the shop. And the other day on my update video, I was telling y'all about this heater I bought uh, back in December to heat this uh, shop up with. And I was having issues getting it to stay lit. I'll show you what the issues, uh, what kind of trouble I'm having. So first I'm going to go ahead and open this propane valve. and open it up all the way and I don't know if I can set y'all up where you can see I'm going to try this thing works by turning this knob pushing it in and turn it and it clicks over a little igniter in there and then it should light off but since this hose has been uh, probably emptied out by now it's going to take a little bit for me to get get propane up there uh, this thing is quite dangerous all oh, these edges fairly sharp Really, when you pull push in, if you ain't careful, I mean, really ain't much to hold to, and you over, you kind of leaned over against this thing, and uh, it, you know it has singed my hair. So, like that right there. I gotta let it vent for a minute. Hope y'all seen that. Hold this knob in 15 seconds. That's supposed to light the pilot. And as soon as I turn it loose, the flame goes out. Alright. So I called the company up and I told them, hey look. I got a problem uh, thermocouple on this thing. So the first thermocouple they sent wasn't even for this heater. It, it did not match this heater whatsoever. So I called them back and I said, hey, look, y'all sent me the wrong part. And they said, well, it ain't worth paying you to ship it back. Just keep it. So I said, okay, I'll keep the thing. Send me the right part. So the next one they sent was this, and this is the right thermocouple. But the problem I think I'm having is with the valve that this attaches to. So I'm going to have to get this thing up here and we'll take it apart and look at this valve. It's, it's like a little electric solenoid that holds a plunger in and allows, allows gas to flow through the gas valve. Now if this thing, you know, it's supposed to heat up, create a little voltage and it's supposed to pull that solenoid. So it's either the problem's going to be this or it's going to be the solenoid itself. Alright, so I try to get y'all far enough back where you can kind of see the whole heater here. And I'll get in close when we get ready to get the valve off. This whole top comes off pretty easy. It's got three screws around the side of it. Let's yank them out right quick. So once we get all three out, this thing just lift right up. Alright. So now we can see we've got the igniter here. The igniter lights off against the thermocouple. And we've got one screw right here that goes in the thermocouple on the back side. This is the igniter here. The thermocouple bolts into the gas valve. So next, we need to remove this plate right here. So this is like that other, just held in with three screws. And they're the same exact screws, see? You can't really get them mixed up. One hiding out over here. Now, I've had this thing apart. Now, what I'm going to do. Uh, is what I'm going to do is I'm not going to unscrew this gas valve right here. I'm going to leave it just like it is and I'm going to pull this plug out. i got to take this one little screw out right here. hope y'all can see that. This is the ground. I suspect if it's this 
here I'll probably have to get the whole gas valve. I didn't really even know that this thing here unplugged. I really ain't sure how to get it out. Let's see what this other one looks like here. It looks like it just plugs in. So I think we can just take a pair of pliers pliers there. And yank this one out. Just like that. And then we can flip it back over and unscrew from this side and pull it out. No wrong one. Next we got to pull it out through the bottom. Yeah, so there it is. And it is the right part. This piece here don't really supposed to come off. I end up getting it off of this so I could clean it. I didn't know if that was part of it. Nope. Apparently it ain't. Oh, I know why I took it off. Because you can't get this you can't get this in the hole with this on it. So, it's got to come off. That's one. Right, so we'll stick this one up back on the bottom side. And we'll take this one that was already on there. And what I did is I basically just screwed it back down right here. Hope y'all be able to see that. And you got to have a little bit of a gap between the igniter and that thermal couple so this thing can spark. And we'll turn it back over. And I figure out, I don't remember, I think it come off of this one right here. We'll put this uh, ground back on. And we'll plug this back up. been easier than it came out. Now we'll put this guard back on. Three screws. Holds it in. So six, seven, eight screws is all you need to take this thing apart to take the uh, thermal couple off. I sure hope this fixes it because this is a hundred dollar shipping uh, I think it's shipping included on this and the new ones the newer models this was a changeover model are $130 but they've got uh, push buttons for the igniters and the hold the gas valve open which I think is a heck of a lot safer kind of straighten this up a little bit maybe all right, we'll go ahead and stick our cover back on it and hook our gas line back up and we'll try it again. All right, with everything hooked up, gas is on, I'll check for leaks. <clears throat> we'll try it again. You can't hold a darn thing. That's what I don't like about it. Just went straight out, didn't it?
No change. No change. I believe it's going to be that piece that's in the gas valve. A little solenoid. I should have took it out and showed y'all what it looked like. It's basically a little electric solenoid that pulls a plunger in and holds it in. When you push the when you push the button in, it pushes past the solenoid, the plunger. And as soon as you turn out, turn turn it off, boom, it goes out. So I guess I'll be calling customer no service. And uh <clears throat> seeing what they want to do now. Maybe send me a gas valve, I guess. So on another note. They accidentally sent me a bunch of other stuff that I didn't didn't need, so I did call them, left a message, called me back. Uh, somebody in shipping dropped the ball on this. Normally, you know, I'm not, I'm a pretty honest person, so you know, when somebody sends me a bunch of gas hose and they's uh they. I'm going to say seven, six foot hoses, nine, six foot hoses, no, I'm sorry, nine, 12 foot hoses in this, in this box, and uh, 17, six foot hoses in this box, that, you know, obviously went to somebody besides me, and got shipped to me instead, so, uh, I left a message for the guy whose name's on the shipping label there. To call me back, see if he wants to, what he wants, how he wants to get these things shipped, because I'm not paying for them. Anyway, guys, well, the saga will continue with the heater. Uh, as far as I know, I cannot recommend this Mr. Heater, uh, and I should have known better because we've got one of those top top tank heaters. You've seen it in one of my other videos, and it's got a bad eye on it. The center eye works good. One of the side eyes works every now and then. It's kind of just junk. The old torpedo heater there, it'll do the job, but it sure does make everything smell like diesel because it's diesel fired. Anyway, guys, I'm going to do a little shop straightening up and try to get some junk out of the floor. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, until next, next time, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't.